early January is the time for New Year's resolutions. Things like resolving to eat healthier, exercise more, and hug your goofy looking dog at least once a day. But now it's the end of January, which is the time to replace all of those New Year's resolutions that you're never actually gonna do with ones that you'll actually keep. Uh, for example, this year I resolved to actually play more of these games that are on my shelves. Uh, that and the eating better thing, uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> Hey there, and welcome back to The Component Proponent, the series where we take a look at games and game upgrades to increase our immersion in the gameplay experience and hopefully have a little bit of fun while we do it. Well today, we are going to be taking a look at a component specifically designed for those of us who would like to spend more of their precious time playing games, rather than pour all of their free time into making videos about them instead, getting Nothing else done until your life spirals into a bottomless whirlpool of anxiety and regret. But maybe that's just me. Well, one way to accomplish playing more games is by practicing and participating in what's called a 5x5 five five challenge. That's where you pick five games and vow to play each of them five times before year's end. Uh, there's also different variations on this, of course, uh, such as the 10x10 10 10 challenge, in which you attempt to play 10 games 10 times each, or the 50x50 50 50 challenge, in which you are insane. But the problem with resolutions such as the 5x5 five five challenge is out of sight, out of mind. Oftentimes, it helps to have a visual reminder staring at us like some sort of goofy looking dog, keeping the goals that we want to achieve in our mind. And that's why this year I have resolved to make a video about this 5x5 five five game challenge board before it's too late and yet another year slips by in this inevitable ebb towards the oblivion that we are all unstoppably hurtling towards. This 5x5 five five game challenge board is designed by DaftConcepts.com and is available from a variety of different suppliers, including longtime Pair of Dice Paradise sponsor and friend of the show, TopShelfGamer.com. So if you're interested in one, uh, up here and down in the description, I'll add a link to where you can find one on their website. They're an awesome group of people that love games and accessories and do an awful lot to support this channel, so in summary, they're pretty darn cool. All right, so how does this work? Well, the idea of the 5x5 five five game challenge board is to list five different board games that you'll play at least five times throughout the year. And then, each time that you play one of those games, the corresponding meeple tracker token is advanced along that tracking area. And once all five meeples have completed the tracks for all five games on your list, you have completed the challenge and you win! Congratulations! Now the board itself is made out of wood measuring 10 by 5 8 by 8 by 3 8 by 1 4 inch thick and is designed to either stand on a table or hang on a wall. Are you up to the 5 by 5 board game challenge? Well, I hope so, because I'm not. But that's okay, because tracking the plays of five specific games is just one suggestion on how the board can be used. Uh, for example, some friends of the show have suggested additional challenges that the board can be used to challenge yourself with, uh, such as tracking plays of games by specific designers or publishers, uh, tracking plays of games in specific genres, uh, which members of your gaming group have picked what to play, so you can kind of keep things fair and going around and around, uh, the different wins among your circle of friends, or even the conventions and events that you attend throughout the year. As for me, well, I'm actually going to use mine to track how many times I get together with several different groups of friends I have available for gaming this coming year. And I'm going to try to attend game days with each of them at least five times throughout this year. So there you go. There is the 5x5 five five game challenge board by Daft Concepts. It's a nifty little game accessory which may not upgrade a specific game in our game libraries, but does its part to help remind us to get more of these games that just sit here on the shelves being unplayed until it drives you crazy. And that's not even on the script. It's just something that popped in my mind because yes, it drives me crazy not playing these games. And now I don't know where I left off. And if you do end up picking one of these guys up, be sure to let me know which games or gaming concepts you challenge yourself with this year. And you know what? Even share a picture of your list with me on Twitter by tagging at Dice Paradise if you want to, because I would love to see which games people have on their lists and compare notes at the end of the year to see how we each did with our own personal challenges. So get out there, 
challenge yourself and accomplish some stuff and get out of the ebbing whirlpool spiral of butter eating that we all find ourselves being sucked into by non-conformity. That's not the word I wanted. The word I wanted was non-action, inaction, inaction. That's also not the word, but it means whatever the word is that I was gonna say. So in action, it is. And in the meantime, I've been Shaz Marler, your component proponent, reminding you to go out and play more games and eat less butter. Starting tomorrow. Hi, <laughs> cool. Oh! Never doing that again. Oh! oh my mouth tastes like butter. Oh, it is so bad. I, everything's buttery. <coughs> oh, it's the worst. That is one of the worst things I have ever done for this channel.